Ooh, welcome everyone, welcome back to another wonderful day down here on Strife Farm in Stardew Valley. Let's check the weather report. Uh, it's gonna be cloudy with gusts of wind tomorrow and the fortune teller says that the spirits are in good humor today. That's all good. Um, so, I've got a couple of gifts to give away here. And let's go ahead and uh, pop those hazelnuts away because I don't need them. Um, I don't really care about the bait anymore, like I've, been, I've just been stashing it this whole time. Uh, I don't have enough funds to upgrade my house yet, but then again, I don't have the, uh, I don't have what I need to actually, um, I, I don't have the wood to upgrade my house yet either, so, what to do then? No mail. Man, things have really started to slow down in the valley today, guys. Lately, like, it's the end of the season, I know, and all that stuff, but geez, have things really started to slow down in the valley. Um, I guess, like, there's still daily chores for me to perform, um, but really, things are gonna- things are starting to come up to a point where, uh, there's something really specific that I need to get done. I have not taken the resin out of these tappers yet, I need to do that. <laughs> Things have really come down to, um, you know, cleaning, uh, a cleanup job, essentially. And, um, getting my hands on materials that aren't necessarily difficult to get, just time, like, uh, you know, they're, they're limited. When and how I can get them. Oh my god, this freaking coop is so crammed. Okay, did I, I think that I missed one of them over here. No, not you. There we go. You're the one that I missed. Oh my god, get out of the way, animals! Let me out of the coop. Jeez. It's like they're trying to trap me. It's a freaking... It's conspiracy, I tell you. I don't think that there are any other truffles here for me to grab. Okay, so, um... We're gonna go ahead and stash this stuff then. The eggs. And Oh, man. The, uh, the wool. What's wrong with me? Okay, let's go ahead and... Put these on the looms. And we'll take care of the cows, we'll check the, uh, the greenhouse and whatnot, but really, th what things have come down to at this point, guys, is the fact that I, um... I need to head out to the desert to get, uh, any real stuff done. And, and I've got a quest. For that matter. Man, I've actually got milk for a change. They haven't given milk in days. Surprise, surprise. No, 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 don't... No! No! For God's sake! Ah! I swear, I mean, I don't- I, it's, it's been ages since I felt like this. I pressed the button! I so pressed the button! You know, whenever I was a kid and, uh, games would make me scream that at the screen? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, brings back memories. Not necessarily completely fond memories, but memories nonetheless, you know? Um, but I've got a couple of gifts to give out today. Um, I gotta go harvest up some wood to give to, um, uh, Robin to get some, you know, base upgrades on the go. And for that matter, it, like, it, it would behoove me to get more, um, preserve jars in place. Like, I, I need extra preserve jars because I'm turning over so much stuff that I can throw into preserve jars. Um, it's, it would just be a really good idea for me. I'm gonna end up replanting this entire field, uh, with nothing but, uh, winter seeds and whatnot. Uh, come winter, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Uh... Alright, so, what have we got in here? No berries yet, but as you can see, a whole bunch of these are, um... Uh, a whole bunch of ancient fruit is about to turn over because the stalks have the, uh, the brown on them. So... Nothing to do right now, though. Alright, hey Robin! It's time to upgrade my house for 150 gold and 150 pieces of hardwood. Thanks, I'll get started tomorrow! It should be finished in around three days! All right then, so that's all that I need. The next step is to, uh, talk to Abigail and present her with that pendant. Because, why not? Um, I just want to make certain that I have a full and proper house upgrade, uh, ready for her whenever I propose. Gotta, I mean, don't put the cart before the horse. Uh, you know. N nobody's, nobody's, you know, rushing off to leave Stardew Valley anytime soon. So... Alright all, it's time to head down- it's mine time. I haven't said that in a long time now, but it is mine time! Um... I don't remember what level it was that I was starting out on. Was it 60? I feel like 60 was the level that I was starting out on. Yeah, this is the level. 
I know it when I see it. This is definitely the level that I was starting out on. So my main goal is, like, there's there's always the combat element, but right now, what I'm really after is the iron, and it's because I can craft bombs with the iron. Jeez, this cave is just not... It is not throwing me any bones today. I'm not getting anything useful out of this cave. Like, I'm not, well, I'm getting useful stuff, but I'm not getting it in the quantity I'm after. Which is bugging the crap out of me. Something serious. Hey, you know what I just thought of? Have any of you, do any of you, like, have a, a, a memory that is good for useless stuff? Like, I've got a memory that's fantastic for useless stuff. That's exactly my problem. It's like, pay your bills? No, nope, I ain't gonna remember that. <laughs> um, uh, you know, go see the doctor? Nope, not gonna remember that. Oh, you got a dental appointment? Nope, not gonna remember that chat crap either. <laughs> no, instead, I remember, like, some of the most ridiculous and useless things. It's like, um... For some reason, stand-up comedy routines, like, stand, like, really, really well cemented in my mind. I'll, I can pick up the entire- I can pick up an entire stand-up routine from, like, a special or something. And then I'll be able to repeat it back, like, after only having seen it once. It's- it, well, I mean, assuming that it was funny anyway, because, like, I- it, that's, that's a really weird skill to have, and moreover, it's a super, super useless skill, because it's like, you know, give me an entire presentation on, you know, how to play the stock market and how you're going to make a million and a half dollars that way. No, I won't remember any of that stuff, because it's important, it could actually be used to my benefit. But the, but the useless junk, like, the entire stand-up comedy routine of freaking uh, Christopher Titus, or, um... Rod Gilbert or someone like that. It's like all of that stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll 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 remember it. I actually had this one time at work where I was um I was working with a guy uh, back whenever I used to load trucks, and um we were we were both in this truck and we were loading it up, and I just out of nowhere I started um reciting the entire uh this entire routine that I heard like the night before on YouTube whenever I watched it. It was like an hour-long comedy special, and I just recite the entire thing, perfect verbatim, or, you know, close enough, and, um... First of all, the guy that I was working with, he became completely confused because the story was from a comedian who, like, lived out in California or something, and it's talking about being on the beach at the ocean and all that stuff, which absolutely doesn't match up with my life story, which, you know, the, the, the guy had heard enough of my life story to know, like, what was true and what was false. Um, so, first of all, it completely and totally confused the crap out of my, my, uh, my partner, or, well, my co-worker, I guess I should say. And, um, so that was a thing, but then whenever he, f uh, whenever I told him that it was like, no, no, that's not my story, like, that, that was just an entire, like, comedy routine that I just pulled up out of, you know, thin air because I remembered the whole thing, he got really angry at me. Like, never have I seen someone get so angry that I, I just, you know, recited something that wasn't mine. Like, I suppose it was because I was super, super, um, enthused. Like, I was really into telling the story, so maybe that, like, made it seem really, really legit. I wasn't trying to make it sound like it was mine. I was just, you know, doing it because it was really, really boring, the job that we were doing. It's like, how fun is loading a truck? And, and, and you know, if you're stuck loading a truck for several hours on your own, well... What can you do about it? It's like you're stuck lo loading a tr truck for several hours on your own. There's nothing can that can be done there. Um, but, you know, just stuck in that truck with someone else. It's like, hey, why don't you talk about something? Except there was nothing to talk about that day, which is why I started doing that. And, jeez, did he ever get upset about the fact? Like, I don't know. I, I, I guess he felt like he had been lied to or cheated or something. I don't know. It was really, really weird. And, yeah, since then, I, uh, I don't recite entire, um, comedy routines to people, because they get super, super angry when I do. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, a life story from Strife. So... <laughs> Alright, guys, I think I'm about as prepared as I'm gonna get to come out here into the Calico Desert, and, um hit the Skull Cave. So my goal here is to make it down to level 25 minimum. Oh my god. Iridium already. Holy crap, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Jeez. 
And you know what I think I'm gonna do? Just for this, uh, just, just for being down here, because it's definitely gonna work in my benefit. I'm gonna zoom out to 75% here, so that I can see more of what's going on in the cave, and, uh, collect things up, okay? So, straight up, my goal is not to, uh, stick around, it is to, uh, find my way down. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna search for some iridium. Uh, when it's safe, basically. So. Okay, so. There's that. And this is important. I'm gonna be making proper use of these bombs. Uh, on a regular basis. So. Let's hop. Let's take that ladder down. Oh. Ow. Come on, come on. Ah. Oh, they hit they hit super hard. There's no getting around that part. Okay. So no need to bother with uh, a lot of this stuff. Ow. Ah. 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 Oof. Get out of here. Jeez, I'm starting to think that uh, the roots platters aren't going to sustain me. I don't want to take too much damage here. Ooh, hey, what's this? Looks like there's some writing on the wall. Nope, nothing, nothing to be, nothing to concern myself with. Like I said, my main goal is just to get as far down as I possibly can. So we're at level six. It's two o'clock something. Um. This isn't an unreasonable place. I, I think I'm gonna clear this path, though, before I... What the heck is this thing? Oh, it's a box! Huh. Didn't look anything like a box to me. Well, whatever. There we go. Aha! Ladder! Bingo. Come on, baby. I need 15 more levels, and it's gonna be a little bit of a difficult- like, this is- this is gonna be the one time that it's gonna be super difficult. I got 142 stone just from being down here. You know what I'm gonna do instead of doing this spiral level? I am gonna craft a set of stairs. And I don't need to keep track of how many freaking void essences I have. Ooh, shit! Your little flying snake thing. Screw you. Holy balls. Jeez. Whew. Okay, root platter time. <clears throat> I'm not going down anywhere near as fast as I need to, though. Cry. Did you at least give me- No, it didn't give me the exit. Fine, be like that. I'll use another bomb. I don't even understand how you're supposed to get rid of these bugs. <sighs> Come on! Give me the exit! Give me the exit! Oh, crying out loud. Give me a break! How am I supposed to get out of here if the exit won't spawn? <laughs> get out of here. Stay away from me. Ah, crap. Shouldn't have done that. Well, I've got a little bit of stuff. At least there's that much that can be said. Um, come on. Oh, shit. Whew. Cripe. Crime. Okay, we're, we're on level 13. We're making it down. Ooh, check it out. Okay, let's eat a roots platter. Refill my health a little bit. Found a hole to drop down. Eight levels! Ooh, sweet! We're on level 21! That's not what I wanted. Ooh. Okay, well, we've got another hole here. Let's go ahead and jump in. Four levels. Sweet! I passed! I, I did it! I did what uh, Mr. Key wanted! I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm not finding a whole bunch of freaking uh, iridium wool down here, though. I, f I thought for certain that this would be an iridium cache. It's 8.20, we've still got time to try to get out of here. To get through, uh, more levels of the mine. 
Uh, now we're dealing with the mummies. I know I've, I've, I've read about these things more than once. The mummies, they, uh, they, they can't die. They just, like, fall over. I know that sound. Ladder. Give it to me. Bingo. Ooh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Ugh, didn't get anything. Damn. Okay. Let's do it, let's do it again over here. I know that sound. That's one of those flying bastards. I was hoping that I would find some flippin' iridium down here, but... So far, I've only found, like, two nodes. Oh, I think this is iridium here, though. Yeah, sure enough, there we go, that's iridium. Okay, I'm out of time. I don't want to get hurt anymore. Grab a bit more of this stuff. Oh, man, there's another freaking ladder. What are the chances? All right, all right, no, 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 I gotta leave. I gotta leave, I gotta leave. Okay, we're out of the mine. We finished with Mr. Key. Um, I have no earthly idea what this spells out for me. And what happens if I just hoe up a random section of the desert? Inventory is full. Oh man, burglar shank. I don't, I don't need this. I don't want the clay either, I want that. Give that to me, there we go. Okay, now, we gotta hop back on that bus now. Go back to Stardew Valley. Uh, you know what, that's good enough. Anyway, this has been another episode of Stardew Valley with me, William Strife, everyone. I hope that you all are enjoying watching me play this game as much as I am playing it myself. But, oh, what's this? Live in large. Oh, I must have gotten the, uh, house upgrade. Live in large. Uh, <laughs> wow. Look at the size of that freaking. um... Let's take a break down here. Pomegranate wine was worth 480. Cranberry wine was 389. Ancient fruit wine was worth 15,000. Oh, yes. Check that out. Four truffle oils for 3,400. Man, I am just rolling in the dough. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope that all of you are enjoying watching me play this game as much as I am playing it myself. And I hope to see you in the rest of the series because, well, there's a limited number of episodes left, guys. Until then, though, I'll see you all later. Stay well. Bye!